Uh, I'm Mark Keegan. I own Keegan Works uh, Contracting Services and Painting Company. We're going to be using Floatrol, which is a product made by Flood. Uh, it's used to condition paint and it helps with a lot of different things. Um, we use it for a, we use it in a couple different ways when we're, when we're working on the job. Uh, the first thing we do, shake it. Floatrol, I mean the Flood is uh, it's a two-part system that's in here, so you want to shake it real well. Um, when we're cutting, so when we're working on trim, I guess we're going to say when we're working on trim, we're going to be working with about maybe two and a half inches of paint in the bottom of a cut can. Yeah. Um, you can measure it, but as a rule, you don't have to. Um, you could add what would be equivalent to, say, half a Dixie cup, three quarters of a small Dixie cup. We just kind of eyeball it right in there. Pretty straightforward. It's almost like making pasta sauce. Right you know. yeah. yeah, it's okay. Um, we work it in real well into the paint, stir it in really well. And what's going to happen now is when we're working with our trim paint, we're going to have more open time on our products, as we kind of talked about before. So we're working large bodies of trim, like this is a good example on the other side, actually you can't see it, but when we're working big sections of trim, we want to be able to keep a wet edge longer to work back into. Um, by using the floor trawl, it gives us that advantage of being able to keep that open time, keep all that trim paint wet and work back into it. Um, what we also do with this, a nice little trick we do here with the brushes, put a little bit in the cap. So we're going to use the ellipse here, one of the richer brushes we've been working with. I'll just take a little bit on my finger here. I'm just going to rub it into the top of the stock here. Pretty simple, but I know it looks a little silly. But what would happen is, in the normal course of events during the day when you're brushing, after a couple hours, this becomes encrusted in the top. It happens to everybody. And those crustaceans actually work <laughs> into, your, into your trim work. They work into your wall, and all that stuff ends up on the surface where you don't want it. So just by working a little bit of this Floatrol into the brush. Simple. It's going to work some in good. It'll keep this area of the brush from getting crusty. Simple. We're not going to do anything else with it except leave it on there. So every, you know, by the time the paint works up, it's going to work up and under the, the Floatrol. And by the way, the Floatrol, another reason, a couple reasons it's good. And especially like in hot weather applications, because we use it outside as well. This is an interior exterior. Uh, it works great outside too because sometimes the temperatures are so extreme. Even when you're not in the sun and you have to work outside, everything's drying so quickly, Floatrol gives you that open time as well. Um, again, once we, have our, once we have our product in here, our brush is good to go, we can just load it up and then we're ready to go get some trim. And then again, if you see once our brush is loaded, it's going to work up into here, but this is just not going to get crusty like it normally would. And then we just go to town, done.